Hello, this is Law from uh, Hope and Soul Channel, and welcome again after so long for another episode on how to install. This time it's going to be PDO. It used to be called IX Explorer, now it's called PDO. It's pretty good. File management is just like having your own uh, Dropbox. Anyway, without wait any longer, let's start for the installation. I'm going to install in this on this domain pdo.dk I have I'm going to show you how to download it download that manual installation no text I'm going to ins install the, the latest version 523 and that's the file you want it's about 8 meg I have already um, downloaded. I'm going to download again just in case, just to show you. Let's do this step. And there we go, we got the the two files. Double click on this one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop all the files into my PDO directory that I've already created in my exam. Uh, again, it's inside your HD docs in any web server you want, really. It works everywhere. Drag and drop here. Job nearly done. Now I'm going to close WinZip or WinRAR, I think it was WinRAR. Now that's done. Let's start the installation. We're going to the browser, refresh the page. Everything looks pretty good except the first one. Now it gives it the word and this is the ph command line. Now I got it disabled on my and I'm going to show you where it is in my php ini or any as you can see here dot net is being disabled if I want to enable it will be like this but uh, for my instance, I'm going to leave it on. Uh, even if you get this kind of a error, don't worry, you can still go through the installation. By click on the top here, click here to continue. Now there's two ways to install this application. is with and without MySQL. That is up to you. I'm going to show you how to do it. Start wizard, choose your language. And I'm going to choose my logins and passwords. The global information, the title, the work message, and the default language. Now about the enable emails, you need to uh, edit the PH configuration. You can use send mail and then you can have the administration email. It depends how you want to use PDA. If it's just for yourself, technically you don't really need that. But 
So let you see it. Just put the, uh, the email you're gonna use. In this case, I'm gonna use the admin at pdf.tk. Now, as I said before, you can use the with and without MySQL. Uh, I'm going to use without now. Now, this is not for production. So don't use it if you want to really do it for yourself and put on live on any web server. You can add some users. In this case, I'm not going to add anyone and I'm going to just click install PDF. As you can see, everything's done. You just wait a little bit longer. And it's supposed to go straight here. Yeah. I'm going to put my password. Click remember me. And put the password there. And there we go, we are inside PDO. It's quite simple to use. This is your uh, workspace. Here are the settings for the admin side of it. You can add uh, new users if you want to. Global configurations, application core, feature plugins, everything inside here, everything you really need to uh, to update and you know to you know just update your settings. I'm going back to my files. This is for your personal files. And if you want to create common files where every single user can use your files so you can share it. But also don't forget, even if it's your files, you can still share outside PDO. It's very simple. Let's say I want to update, sorry, I want to upload the files. Um, let's go to say pictures. I can do one by one or just drag all of it and open. Let's say you, you want to uh, share it. All you have to do is click, click on share. If you want a password, if you don't want any password, don't worry, click on plus. And there we go. You can have the QR code or just what you need to do, just give this uh, URL, control C. I'm going to press X here and paste. And there we go. When I click on this one, as you can see, I got desert.jpg, the same one that I used to share it. To remove the share, just press share again and press the minor button here. And that's it. The share is gone. So the solution is done. Thanks again for joining me for this tutorial. Don't forget to, uh, to look at my videos on uh, YouTube. I was just going to look. Yes, there we go. This is the actual channel. Don't forget you can follow me on the website and the Twitter and don't forget to share all my videos and thanks again and I hope it doesn't take that long to make another video. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.